My preparation coming into the season has been excruciatingly long and, and painful. Um, I've had to do a lot of rehab just to be able to stand up and walk a little bit. So not to mention driving a car, you know, the brake pedal is very stiff. I've had to work a lot on that. Initially, I thought that we would have to modify the throttle pedal because obviously I lost most of my mobility on the right ankle. But actually, I did uh, a private test a few months ago and I am just able to, to, to press it. Uh, so that's great. The private test was in a way a big relief because going into that test, we literally did not know if I was gonna be able to drive. You know, everyone was just kind of holding their breath. So when I did the first lap, I was okay, it, it's possible. But then it also brought many concerns for me personally, because all of a sudden it really hit me how hard this comeback is gonna be, you know? Just to get back into the rhythm uh, of the car, feel confident again. I, I kind of had in my mind, I had the, the feeling from 2019 where everything came very easy to me and I felt super natural inside the car. And all of a sudden I found myself, you know, really struggling to get to the pace. Um, and it was, it was a bit worrying, you know, I, I was not expecting it to be so hard, but eventually the progress started to come and it came very quickly throughout the days of testing we did. The, the main issue I will have now in, in the beginning is the break. You know, my left leg is not as badly damaged as the, as the right one, but I had multiple fractures there as well. And I have to rebuild again uh, the muscle, the strength and the endurance to keep pressing that break so hard throughout the whole race. So that will be tough in the beginning and that's my main focus. All of last year when I was in Miami doing the rehab, I, I was smart and I continued doing the, the normal training for the neck. So, you know, it's not like I've had to build my neck back up from, from scratch. I would say the biggest things we've worked on have been the, the left leg to get it ready for the, the break. I've also had to lose a bunch of weight because sitting <laughs> a year and, and, and a few months in a wheelchair did not help. And I don't know if maybe all the medals I have in the leg have also increased my weight, but I, I've lost already, I think four kilos this last month and I need maybe three or four more. So for people that don't know, the weight in, in these categories is very on the limit, especially if you're a taller uh, guy. So my goals for this season is firstly to get back up to speed, to find myself as a driver like I was in, in 2019 and kind of beam that old me again. I don't have huge expectations, especially for the beginning of the season, but I'm definitely a very competitive guy and I know I will be aiming for podiums and wins. And, and, and I'm pretty confident we can get there with, with some work. But mainly, you know, I just want to retake my career, get myself in a good position to be in a top team in F2 next year. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go now.